Today I'm going to show you guys how to create this trippy fish eye effect for your next edit or even music video. So the first effect I'm going to be using to actually create this trippy fish eye effect is going to be CC lens. So I'm going to go ahead and just drag it in right here. And you can tell it's going to create this trippy fish eye effect right here. But the thing I'm actually going to do is increase our size right here up to around 80. So once after you add that, I'm going to go ahead and add a grid. Dragon grid. I'm going to go to our blending mode and put on hard light. And we're going to create kind of like a CRT or VHS effect. It's pretty easy to make. I'll show you guys. It just takes a couple steps. So once after you go to your blending mode, put on a hard light and go to our color and put on black. And then I'm going to go to our corner point and make sure to put on width and height sliders. And go to our width and put on four. And go to our height and put on four as well. Now you can tell it's black right here. You can't see nothing, but go to your border and put on one. And just like that, we get this pretty nice CRT look. So for the next effect, I'm going to layer onto the actual adjustment layer. Oops, let me zoom back in. It's going to be noise. So I'm going to go and drag in our noise effect, turn off the color noise. And I'm going to put on 20. So you can see right here, if I were to have color noise on, you can tell right here is colored. If I were to turn it off, it's not colored. So I really prefer having it not colored. It just makes our effect look way nicer. So once after you're done adding the noise effect, I'm going to go ahead and add a colorama. Go right here to our output cycle. And you can put on like solarized gray or any type of color you really want. It's just all about messing around and see what you like. I'm going to go over right here to our modify. Go to all. And I'm going to put on hue. And you can tell over here, it gives us like this nice red hue color right here. You can even mess with it. So you go right to our use preset palette. You can change it to any other color you want. It's just mainly messing around with this and see what you like. But I like using the solarized gray effect. It just gives it a nice red tint, kind of like a hue color to it. It makes it look really cool. So for the next effect I'm going to add, it's going to be VR glow. And then just like this one, it's a pretty nice effect. And let's say that you don't have um deep glow you can also use this one it just takes a lot more of tweaking but you can leave it around at 60 and it kind of gives the same look as if you were to use deep glow so we're just a dragon deep load and turn off your glow you can tell right here it's a big difference make noise go right here and turn down the exposure so i'm gonna turn down a bit and you might have to tweak it as well so right here you can tell the difference obviously you have deep glow i recommend using that instead of vr glow if you don't have deep glow just go ahead and use vr glow it's much better than the regular after effects glow so yeah um once after you add the vr glow i'm going to go ahead and add the next effect which is going to be cc vignette i'm going to go ahead and just drag it in and go to our mount right here and i'm going to put it on 91 and go to our angle and crank it up all the way to 70. and then we'll go ahead and close this off and then for the next effect i'm going to add it's going to be motion tile and I'm going to create this four by six ratio look. So I'm going to go right to output width and put on 75. And just like that, we get this pretty nice uh, four by six look right here. And it looks like it's coming out of a, you know, it looks like it's coming out of a, uh, uh, it looks like it's coming out of a camcorder. And you can tell right here, sometimes with the CC lens settings, it gets cut off right here. So that does happen with your actual effect. You can also bring down the size. And just mess around with it you can also bring down the convergence and once after you mess around with your settings and see what you like you should get this pretty nice and trippy fish eye effect for your next edit or even music video hope you guys enjoyed today's video if you did like subscribe leave, leave a comment and what you guys want to see next um keep on staying creative and keep working hard guys i'll see you guys in the next one peace out